Y'all, it is Thursday, June 4th. Thursday, June 4th, 2020. I'm Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. Tomorrow, I'll be leaving here at super early in the morning time, I think like 6.30, and I'm gonna be in a place that does not have any um, internet, so I'm down with that. <laughs> Y'all, I don't have a whole lot to say today. I'm just really grateful to be able to be here with everyone. And, and I thank you for spending time with me, you know, so I appreciate it. It's kind of a lonely world as a day trader because I'm in here talking to myself all day long, you know, and I do get to talk to people on the phone, which is lovely, but it can, it can get a little lonely sometimes, you know, so that's one of the things that I do love about teaching is that am I able to spend time with people, even if it's just virtually, I might have been doing that for a long time myself, so I don't mind all that. I love having you here with me. I appreciate it. So, all right, guys, let's get this party started. Let's look at the daily chart to start. Ooh, a little curious. They're starting to get a little light. They're just barely starting to lighten up. But it may, you know, go this way for a while. We did see the BBs lighten here, but they had a ton of strength behind them when that happened. I mean, we do anticipate a snapback to happen at some point to pull back into those EMAs. I mean, that's exactly what happened. Just paying attention to signs that this could pop down as we're pulling right here. I'm gonna pull this next one up just a little bit higher. And we're gonna go ahead and go to break even. Boom. So I've been making some mental notes <laughs> of the things that I've been doing while I'm trading and I'm putting so, so much weight on here and I'm not allowing myself to take the trade after I've already missed the first one. And I see reasons. It gave me a perfect little reason with that pullback and we had the next area to go. And the next area was all the way up here. Um, okay. I don't even know what that first trade got us. Let's look at it. 675 so on one trade I made what it took me to make in seven yesterday but that's okay I'm looking at my charts a little different these days I'm trying to take a, and I started putting a little too much focus on the 233 and not enough on my bigger tick charts so it is a fine dance between looking at what the bigger one says what the trading chart says and what the entry chart says they all give signals right so this did tell us that it wasn't quite ready to go up it gave a little bit more of a signal here it pulled back a little bit further and these were very strong signals this was also one as well I just wasn't super comfortable taking it into what looked like another high but if every time I would look back Back here it was like Lindsay just take it and so whenever I'm fighting myself like that it tells me that I'm just not listening to myself right so I'm not giving myself the time and energy that it deserves to do well so 
what I start doing at that point is just um, trying to force entries. So I have a choice. I can keep working towards it, you know, keep forcing entries, or I can just go ahead, wrap up my day with a real quick 6.75 points. Right click, leading a little bit higher here. So there was a lot in favor of that continuing up. There was a lot in favor of continuing up here and here. And by this point, it feels really forced. It is almost exact same look as here. Um, I wanted it, I wanted it to pull back to the EMA. And because it didn't, I didn't allow myself to take it. I'm okay with that. Um, I've got no issue with that. There's a lot that's saying that this has created space between the EMAs and that we're going to be looking for a potential pushback to the area like we're seeing here. Um, it is above the EMA and the Bollinger Band, but uh, I think we're going to start seeing little fights between this area. So I'm just going to wrap it up today with the one trade, you know, so that's going to be it. I think I can get back here. Boom. All right. Hello. Okay. So that's going to be it. It is 922. I'm going to be able to wrap this puppy up and get it out really, really quick, which is pretty awesome. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Please treat each other with kindness and with love. Treat people the way you want to be treated. We all want to be treated as human beings. Please continue to do that. So, and just please, please keep that in mind. Um, all right, that's going to wrap it up. I'll see y'all sometime next week. I am going to be focusing a lot more on some things that I need to get done because I didn't do that at all last week, which if I continue to do some days like today, I'll have plenty of time to work on that kind of stuff. That's why I, that's what I love about this is that we can just, you know, we can decide how long we sit here. And today, um, it's 43 minutes. I really could have been done in 20. And that trade was no longer than uh, it was a minute trade was a minute and so we already put the numbers on there we're good to go so let's go ahead close it out and guys as always you know i look forward to catching you on the profitable side